Good day, good, grade six teachers. Uh, today we are going to look at the analog and the digital clock. Remember, your, the, the learners already have done some uh, work on the clock. They, can, they know the times, they can tell the times, but they should know the difference between the analog and the digital clock. The analog clock, when you teach the analog clock, they must know that the analog clock has hands and the digital clock doesn't have hands. It has a screen that shows digits. This one is easy for starters, it's easy for the, the learners who have difficulties in uh, interpreting where the hands are pointing. But uh, when we are teaching, we need to teach them both. But for learners, uh, for, uh, for, for learners to be able to, be, to, to, to follow the time easily, they can use the, uh, they can follow the digital clock. So uh, when we are teaching the analog clock for the learners, for, for the learners to be able to interpret or to tell the time properly, you can use this and then you shed the side, uh, one side, like uh, the right, right, right hand side and then shed the left hand side with a different color so that they know where the clockwise is coming from and uh, they are able to, to follow that. Uh, this will be a very good uh, illustration for them when it is shaded, so they'll be able to, to, to tell the time properly. And also, um, the position of the hands is very important when you are teaching the o'clock and the past. So uh, when you are positioning the, the hands, they must know that this is five past and this is ten past, and if it's pointing exactly at the number, it is o'clock. 